Dude, Edge is supposed to go out for infinitively, and he comes back. You know, I always wanted to do that, but I was kind of doubtful. I really like these guys. These guys are awesome. I'm going to do a quiz with them. It's 12 minutes, so let's start. My name is John. My name is Dante. Doing something a little different today. Trying out something new, not a game. More of a... It's not a game. Call, a debate thing, a discussion thing. A okay, thing. I can be part of that. Open the forum. We're just having fun. Today we're <laughs> playing a new game, doing a new thing called This or That. Basically, Sophie is going to give us basically two options, and Dante has to be like, oh, I no can use this one over that one. Here's why, what do you think? And we just chat and hang out. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe. Hit. I'm like, covering a little bit of John, like but YouTube, it's fine, I think. At shop.clutchpoints.com. I'm ready. Off the beanies and also we have a patreon if you want to support the channel i think the game is called usually would you rather it's not this or that but uh, let's see there's a bonus episode every single week of the podcast and ad free episodes yeah you guys are missing out if you're not signing up i believe i believe that so this is not a pistol yes so yes. I, i'm really uh, excited the whiteboard <laughs> yes good luck good luck, good luck. Yeah, good and we'll see how this goes, goes. Good luck. yeah, yeah. All right, so what do we got? All right, uh, well, this is from Harrison. So oh, I'm sorry. Harrison, thank you for sending this in. Um, all right, this or that. Uh, who has the better frog splash, RVD or Logan Paul? Logan Paul. Oh, this is I'm fun. sorry. This is... <laughs> like, instantly just like, oh, I get what we're doing. Okay. I mean, all right. RVD's I frog... Words. RVD's Vox Frog Splash is iconic, it's a legendary, but Logan Paul is super athletic, you know? And his frog splash is just looking phenomenal no no okay yeah you can probably just take this yeah. <laughs> collect everything um well alternate so uh, dante this or that <laughs> not. knee jerk reaction says so i think a lot of this it goes it comes up with logan paul every time it's like nostalgia and we've 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 sung his praises athletically sure he's got a good frog splash got a great one i would put not this is the question i would put montez ford over logan Oh, yeah. Montez mm, Ford nah. the sky every time he does it. Yeah, it's different. Easy answer. RVD. It's a mm -hmm. classic. I mean, he he pulls it off. I mean, Montez Ford, I don't think it's frog splash. I think it's a different kind of splash. It's a different... The idea of a frog splash is that you're hitting, like, I mean, basically like a frog. You're like, you know, Montez Ford is not doing that. Logan Poe is basically looking like a frog while he's doing it so he always had pulled off to perfection i think he kind of like you know the way he um you know he's in the guy when <laughs> when he's in the air and stuff yeah, he's in that guy he's in the guy when, when he, he lands on the guy the way he like in motion and stuff mm -hmm. like that tucks his knees in whatever he's yeah. got good bounce off sells the shit hits, out of it you know. too um yeah man i mean i know it might be nostalgic but it's also <laughs> class yes it is nostalgic yeah, but I'm going to give you a pass this. It's a five star. He has a little more swag to it. Yeah. Logan Paul, maybe four and a half. And we're talking about crying too. The energy. Drink. Oh, yeah. No, 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 I'm not talking about a 50 year old RVD frogs, but no, you get prime. The drink. Oh, that's no, I thought you were talking about like RVD in his prime. I was, but I was saying, yeah. 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 Um, I'll go RVD. Yeah, RVD for sure. RVD. Already. <laughs> Sophie's like, Sophie's like, you guys done? Yeah, we're kind of figuring out what this is as we go along. <laughs> All right, this or that, the better Royal Rumble return. Oh, John Edge. In Edge. I'm a little bit biased, but it's Edge. John Cena 08. John Cena 08 for me is pretty. The fact that he like came back sorry. so early from the injury. Yeah. And you can say this, like Edge, I guess, well, I said it quickly, but I guess the Edge thing is like we thought he might have never returned. And he right. Cena was going to return eventually. I'm thinking of like how I react. I mean, I remember when Edge returned, like I was watching my college roommates and we were all going fucking crazy when it happened because, yeah, he retired for nine years, came back. There was kind of some like speculation like, oh, AEW's trying to sign him. He might be coming back type mm -hmm. of thing. But still, it was unexpected. I think John... Now they have some guy called Adam Copeland. Yeah, they're so, yeah, they have Adam Copeland now. They didn't really, you know, they got the next best thing. I I, I think it's John Cena. I think it's John No! I like, I, I bro, kid, what the was, like, fuck? It's not John Cena. Younger and stuff. And just, like, the unexpectedness. He was out for, like, he was supposed to be out almost a year came back after two months and fucking dude edge is supposed to go out for infinitively and he comes back he's uh, swag when he's like standing there like the number he nods his head and stuff <laughs> like he's like yeah i'm back uh, uh, um yeah as great as edge was and as you know awesome was seeing him back after nine years i think the cena one just it's it's one of the best returns ever all right so next one was that right 
Yeah, right. is that but correct? Kind of right. All right, two two. This or that, the better RKO out of nowhere. Mm. Randy Orton to Evan Bourne. Oh, uh, this is tough. 2010. Or Randy Orton to Seth Rollins, WrestleMania 31. Evan Bourne. Evan Bourne. Actually, I'm not sure about this one. Oh, man. I, I think I enjoyed the Seth Rollins one more because it's more creative. The Evan Bourne one is more athletic. I don't know. I, I prefer the Seth Rollins one. I think it it felt a little bit better. The Evan Bourne one, it felt a little bit like he didn't even hit the RKO. He just went up a little bit and just Evan Bourne landed on his shoulder. I, I could have said yes. You, you didn't have to name the second one. I think the Seth Rollins one is is great. We've never seen anything like that before. But for you to catch a guy midair doing a shooting star press, yeah. I mean that. I mean I also one of my buddies sent me a, a TikTok. He goes. He's, he does, he's not a wrestling fan. He yeah. saw it. He was like, bro, how the fuck did they do this? I'm like, I know. It's crazy. I, I, I agree with you. I think the shooting star press is harder. I'm giving the slight advantage to the stomp one just because of the because of the height. Mm. I think because of the height and also because of like the, like the WrestleMania stage sure. goes on and kind of everything around. I will say to give the Seth Rollins one of Red Yorton maybe a little bit more of a bump. That was the first time that they like they tried practicing that. Yeah, couldn't nail it. <laughs> couldn't do it. And then in the they were like, "Fuck it, yeah. let's try." And they they Get got out in the match. And Landy gets. He forgot to pin. There was the ref yeah. was like, "Pin him, pin him, pin him." Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't think this that's a right or wrong answer. I mean, it's this or that. I will yeah. get boring, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the Seth one. Yeah. What do you think? That's so? right. <laughs> People, which one? That's yeah. right. This or that? Which one would you take? So that's a different question. Um. All right. Oh, funny. 10 uh gunther chops gunther chops whatever uh -huh. or uh four coup de gras wow 10 10 oh gras. man gras. which one i think coup de gras hurts more i think coup de gras hurts more like with the chops you you you're gonna bleed uh probably after 10 chops but yeah i'm I, i'm taking the chops or would i rather take yes i jesus christ we've been chopped before we have been no, shot not by one like juicy <laughs> when he slapped Sheamus in the back. <laughs> oh my god! It's, I saw it too. It's like when uh when you get a fresh haircut and your boy sees it, and just <laughs> slaps it. I think I'd rather take the coup de gras. I mean, it'll be it's over fast. It sounds scary too, just seeing someone try to stomp on your stomach and stuff like that. But like, at least you can kind of protect yourself a little bit. You're just getting slapped in the chest, and you're getting slapped in the chest by Gunther. Because especially if you're going like, if you're not going in kayfabe. It's like, you know, Finn obviously kind of collapsed a little, you know, I'm sure. Where like, you know, and like you're hearing that slap. But like, I'm we're staying in kayfabe here. The coup de gras uh -huh. is a guy stomping on your rib hundred percent. Like, you know, that's the idea, right? Um, but I think I mean either either is bad. I think I'm gonna go off with the coup de gras strictly because again, four versus ten. By the time you get that yeah, sixth chop and yeah, you like have four more of these. Dude, the chops are gonna get faster because every time like you have another coup de grace he, he needs to go to the top rope and coup de grace if it's not in a wrestling context it's gonna break your rib cage it's just... breathing right. you know what i mean you're not breathing oh, go right. coup de grace yeah same okay. thanks for asking so <laughs> what would you take <laughs> this or that the better heel turn Ooh. seth rollins joining the authority for mm -hmm. stone cold steel with the devil oh damn these Dude, I I don't even remember the second one, so I'm gonna see what they has to say. So for me, it's just Seth Rollins joining the authority. They're both like iconic in the sense of like crazy heel turns, but everyone was like, "Why the fuck did that happen?" For like questionable, like, "Oh, the shield broke up." Oh, I get it. And, like Stone Cold turning heel, like, yeah, what? siding with Vince. Right. Both both very unexpected. Two of the most unexpected turns ever, and you know. I'll be one one I lived through, one I just went back in history for. With right. that said, though, I'm going to go with the Stone Cold one. I think, what's the question? I would guess the Stone Cold is better because... Better. better. Oh, better. I cannot I mean, even imagine oh. it. So, yeah, I guess it's the way you look at it. I mean, shocking, probably Stone Cold because, again, he was the ultimate. People loved him, siding with the devil and stuff like that. But shocking, I mean, the Shield just won back-to-back -back matches against Evolution, had the elimination match, and it was a clean sweep. Mm -hmm. They were just like, they have only were together for a year and a half. So it's just kind of like, damn, like they really just broke them up 
that early on into their run. And also best, look at all three of them. It, right. I, you know, it like right. it ended up working out. And Seth's like, Seth's like, eh. Uh, he did run the, the, yeah, I mean, 2014, 2015 set was arguably the best set we've ever seen. Now that I know the, the whatever is better, I'm changing mine to the shield. Because I yeah. thought it was most like, huh? But I'm going, going to shield. Because I think the Stone Cold one was like, it happened, but I don't think the payoff was... I mean, better is a strange question. Better shield turn. Yep. So I wait, like, sure. what? Uh-huh. It was built up to be in like you you're know, still getting the payoff from the shield 1000 yeah. percent, and we're seeing again like we saw 10 years later cody rose roman mm-hmm. seth uh roman hitting him in the bat you know what i mean yeah i think the better heel turn was the shield mm-hmm. for sure quick interjection here as we're doing this we haven't recorded the podcast yet but this is basically gonna be what the patreon is <laughs> so yeah so yeah like this join the patreon patreon.com slash stash club wrestling last but not least i wager i'll ask this or that what would have been a better santino morello moment what would what have been okay. yeah okay if Santino eliminated Alberto Del Rio to win the Royal Rumble 2011 and then headlined <laughs> WrestleMania I see okay, okay. Or um, if Santino pinned Daniel Bryan to win the World Heavyweight Championship at Elimination Chamber 2012 and then headlined WrestleMania. You know, WWE was so good at making you think Santino was going to do something. And obviously, neither of those things happened. Mm -hmm. uh, Him headlining. I'm going to go in terms of, I'm going to take better. I don't remember any of these moments. This was the moment that I was not watching wrestling actively both of them are ridiculous i guess the royal rumble moment would have been a shocker or as like shocking craziest whatever i'm gonna go pinning daniel bryan like royal rumble you always have like the you know oh he threw him out oh that's you know crazy like right pinning the world champion daniel bryan is like a way you I, know? yeah and i think it was a little bit more of like a like he hit him with the Cobra and it was like 2.9 second yeah, kick out. Yeah. It's like the Royal Rumble, like he hit him and they celebrate a little bit. It's like, oh, if he like threw him over, like if he immediately went to throw him over maybe, but like he celebrated and it kind of gave you time to think, oh, they're kind of giving him this sure. and then whatever. And also if the if the question also added, he won the Royal Rumble and then won the championship right. at me. Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. He wins the Rumble, but doesn't win the yeah. best. I'm just yeah. the one that gets him the title. I think yeah. him, Santino winning a world championship and not only doing that, but pitting one of the best wrestlers yeah. of all time in that, in the same, uh, in the same sequence, same situation. I think I'm going to agree there. And all, again, it was so close. It was like, oh yeah. my God, like he actually almost did it. Um, it would have been cool. It would have been cool to see what world we would have lived in post, like if he hit that three, hit that three count. Yeah. Dude, if there was, there's, 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 a, a world there's an alternate universe out there where Santino is a 16-time world champion mm-hmm. somewhere. And this channel is not called Stash Club. It's called Beard Beard Pals. And, you know, <laughs> everything's a little different. Everything's you know just I mean? a tiny bit different. Yeah, yeah no, uh, Flowers to Santino. Flowers to yeah. Santino. Not not one of the best ever, but man, he... <laughs> no, but I'm saying... Like, He's not far one as, of like, the best. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Flowers to Santino. Yeah. Flowers to Santino comedy uh it's all no not the best wrestler but you know he was uh one of the most iconic wrestlers of our childhood i agree, I'll put it that. I yeah. agree true and that you guys won and we won some time gentlemen i won as well yeah, it's my first wow. quiz and i won um and that was the first episode of this or that uh short one test it was not quiz no if you guys like it should it just kind of be more of a pod thing or do you want to like this it's something I really enjoy it, boys. Keep up the good work. I'm gonna join your quizzes uh, more often just from now on. But now let's go back to WoW.